welcome to thank the Nordic you. Lark Club. <laughs> thank you. And we, uh, we, I guess we should say thank you since, you, since the book party is hosting us tonight. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Well, this is the book. It may look like it's four books, but actually it's just one, divided into four separate parts. So and when we started working with the book about 10 months ago, we decided that we wanted to work with the, uh, the overall vision of Knutepunkt uh, 2013, which is crossing borders. And we started uh, talking about wha what kind of borders we cross. And uh, at first we ta started talking about uh, the physical borders, uh, the borders between different countries, for example. And uh, we wondered, what is it like going to another country to, to LARP? What is it like going to Palestine, for example? And what is it like coming here to Norway? And what is it like bringing your LARP to another country and organizing it and playing it there? Is this one of the books now? Yes, it is. Physi this is the physical the green borders. one. Mm? Crossing green book. physical borders. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we thought of, what about personal borders or borders between people? And inner personal borders that you may encourage yourself to cross, uh, and what happens when you do that, when you cross them, and what, ha what happens when you cross too many or too fast? Does it change us? May LARP change the world? This is this book. Yes, mm -hmm. and also in this book is the fact that right now we're LARPing in, in several different areas. We're LARPing in education, we're, we're LARPing in management training, and we're LARPing in, in psychotherapy, and we wondered what does this look like? How do we do it? And also, uh, when reading the Nordic LARP wiki, uh, it says that the Knutepunkt books, they are the theoretical foundation or the theoretical contribution at uh, Knutepunkt. And of course, the, the theoretical articles, they are a big part of, of the books as well. And also this one, it's the, the blue book, Crossing theoretical. theoretical Borders. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you have a particular set of design principles that you use when you make a LARP and what kind of borders are there to these principles? Could you possibly merge your principles with another set? Those kind of questions. And yeah. the last one. Exploring borders. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's maybe an interesting one. Uh, or they all are, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this uh, black book, it's filled with pictures from LARPs during the last year, from Knutepunkt last year. And we hope they will inspire you all to make more interesting games. Mm. Mm. That's fantastic. Did you have a speci special ag agenda when you approach this? Is there a reason, for instance, that, that it is four books? They're not huge. It could have been one very thick one. Mm. Yes, it could. <laughs> <laughs> I think mm. uh, we wanted it to make ac uh, accessible and that it's easy to read them and you can read them when you have the time. So you can bring just one part with you and read on the bus or when you wait for a friend or before you fall asleep on your bed. Uh, so it is short texts that you may read when you have the time. And you can bring just one part and put it in your pocket or your bag or uh, anywhere. Do you need to be part of this community to understand the books? We hope not. <laughs> no. And uh, in, the, in this book, the theoretical... That one. That yeah. one. I should know this. <laughs> in the blue book, uh, we have included some, some concepts from the Nordic LARP wiki. Uh, because uh, last year at Solmukorta, uh, that was actually my first Knutepunkt ever. And I walked around in the building looking at everyone and I saw this, this hall, uh, which was called the Bleed Corridor. And I started wondering, what is this? What do they do there <laughs> in the Bleed <laughs> Corridor? And I had, n I had no clue. At all, and, and I, I finally gathered the courage to ask Katrina what it was, and she told me, and it was, okay, I get it. And uh, it hopefully, was not it was not terrifying, <laughs> not, as, uh, not as terrifying as I thought it might be. <laughs> I should say now, if somebody's wondering what bleed is, mm. we'll get to back to that sir, if later tonight. Yes, <laughs> we will. And if you don't get it, you might be able to get it after reading the book, hopefully. Oh. Was mm. there anything particular that surprised you? I know uh, editors always refuse to, to pick favorite texts, so I'm not even going to try, but <laughs> it, was there anything particular that surprised you then that you learned during this process? Um, well, in, in the, the Red Book, The Crossing Habitual Borders, we have included poems um, because we wanted to include different kind of texts that show different ways that LARPs may affect us. And, and we got a lot of poems 
uh, and it was fun absolutely fantastic to read. Um, and there are poems that have been written in character during a LARP, poems that have been written before a LARP, like getting ready or, or going into your character, and poems written as a part of a debrief. So it's, it has been really interesting to read, and we hope that it will be as interesting for you as well. And I think it's surprising that so many people write these poems mm. before and during and after a LARP, mm -hmm. and write them to, um, to get into character or come out of it, and for... Yeah, mm. just that so many do it and that they really want to share it with us. It's fantastic. It's mm. really personal to write a poem. So it's lovely to see how many that do this. That's yes. great. Mm. Mm. Every, every year at Knutpunkt, I, I always go come back and think, oh, well, I'm not going to learn anything new this year. I just learned something <laughs> new. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, fantastic. guys. Thank you for the books and thank you for talking to us. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>